This is the Dell U2718Q, uh, 4K 27-inch monitor. Uh, for those who don't, don't know, the Dell branding nomenclature is the second two digits are the year. This uh, means that uh, the 2718 was originally released in 2018. And that means it's coming up to end of life. I've contacted Dell and asked them when they die. And the answer is uh, they die in March of 2020. And they'll be replaced with a U2720Q. And that model will be virtually identical, except it will have a USB uh, Type-C connector uh, so that it can handle uh, Thunderbolt uh, connections. Uh, other than that, it will be roughly the same, uh, although we have not seen pictures of it yet. So, uh, let's get to opening this up and give it a very quick review. Okay. Yeah, I see that this left, so I've opened this up the wrong way. Flip it over. There we go. Okay. Typical garbage. Nothing too exciting here. There's the base. Nothing too exciting there. I'm going to stack all the junk over here. Let's see these cables. So, got a uh, mini display port, got a power cable, and a USB 3 cable. There's nothing exciting there. That is noted at the stand. Let's get this thing going. There we go, that's the stand. I'm just guessing, because I have not read the instructions, that this just pops in there. It does. Be a screw, yep, hand screw here. Nothing again. All that exciting. Here's the stand swivels, goes back and forth, goes up and down. Let's see if we can get to the meat of this thing. So that's that. Anything else in here? Nope, that's it. So all of that packaging, basically for a stand and some cables. So here is the meat of the matter, which is the monitor. Get rid of this box. Okay, so so power, HDMI, display port, mini display port, power, USB, 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 and uh, that's it. Now on the side, more USBs. Yeah, on the side here, more USBs. Nothing. On this side, and a few buttons on the bottom, uh, power, and presumably just program buttons. So let's get this thing set up and fired up. Careful to not bruise the actual screen by touching it or putting pressure on it. There we go, that just snapped in nicely. Now let's just take a look. The actual unit. Okay, so uh, not much more to say there. Um, sets up nice, up and down, quite a distance. Swivel, tilt. Um, yeah, so let's plug this thing in and uh, take a look. One of the things I notice right away is not a surprise because it's what they tell you about, but it does have a very thin bezel. Uh, all the way around the edge. So let's take a look uh, how this thing actually operates and what it can operate on as a minimum. Okay, so I've connected this uh, U2718 to a, a very old Dell 9020 with a 9020 uh, with an HD, Intel HD 630 uh, uh, integrated video, which is about as low as it will get. So I'm going to power it up, which I think is the first button. Yes, it is. And that does not look good. Okay, so that's obviously not good. 
That's a uh, DOA unit. Let's do or try another one and see what it's like. So here's an identical unit. Let's plug it in. Plug it in. Let's power it up. Yep, lights on. That looks better. Okay, so let's plug in the mini HDMI. Actually, let's set this up. So we'll go through and we'll say, yep, that's English. That's fine. And that's all it's going to ask right now. Okay, for signal. Perfect. Okay, so let's go back here. There we go. Let's power up this unit with a uh, Dell Optiplex old 9020, which is running the HD 630 integrated video from the um, uh, i5 CPU, uh, which is three plus generations old uh, and probably about as weak as you'll ever have on one of these screens. So let's see what we get. Here we go. Running Windows 10, 1903. Okay, so let's just take a look at the resolution here. Display settings. And yep, it went right to 4K. Um, this unit has never been plugged into a 4K monitor before, and it's working just fine. So even the old Intel i5-4670 uh, with the integrated uh, GPU, which is the HD oh, HD 4600 uh, graphics, uh, is sufficient. Uh, it looks great, looks nice and crisp. Um, uh, we could do full tests on it, but that's not the point of this video. Um, it looks great. It's set up without any troubles at all, and we're on our way. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.